The Princess of Wales has revealed how her youngest son Prince Louis and his classmates use the feeling wheel to express their feelings. Hosting a symposium where new research from his Royal Foundation Center for Early Childhood was presented. The royal mother of three, who was dressed in a beautiful Amelia Wickstead purple suit, apparently revealed that her five-year-old son has been involved in her studies since the early years and said, Lewis class, he is an emotional comeback with the wheel. It's really good. These are five or six-year-olds, and going with a color name or pictures that represent how they feel that day, so there's a particular conversation at school. I'm really excited to be involved. Kate, who launched her Early Years Shaping You campaign in January, later gave a keynote speech at the London Design Museum, which was attended by children and adults experts and global thinkers. In his address, he said, we must recognize and address the root causes of some of today's most difficult social challenges and work together to find better answers. Ahead of the speech, she told TV's Fern, a Shaping Us champion, that she felt nervous but excited. Called Kate's Life's Work, the Shaping You Project aims to highlight the importance of the early years of a child's life. She hopes it will influence attitudes towards children in the early years of their lives. Looking effortlessly elegant, Kate paired her power suit which she previously wore in Northern Ireland in September 2021 with stunning sapphire and diamond earrings, as well as purple heels. She styled her hair in bouncy waves and opted for glamorous makeup to complete her sophisticated look after a late night at King Charles's 75th birthday party at Clarence House. During her keynote speech, Kate said, People often ask me why I focus my time on early childhood. The answer is that I care deeply about helping the most vulnerable and making a positive difference in helping those who are most in need. This is not just about the youngest children in our society, who are vulnerable by their very nature. It is also about the many young people and adults who are suffering. We must do more than meet the short-term needs of these individuals. We must also look at long-term, preventative change. And that takes us back to the beginning.